हे गाय वेलकम टू लॉजिकल ह्यूमर टुडे विल सी विल क्रिएट अ डेटा टेबल ऑब्जेक्ट इन सी शार फ्रॉम स्क्रैच एंड वी आर गोन डिस्प्ले इट इन अ ग्रेड व्यू सो वी हैव हेव वी हैव क्रिएटेड एन वेब एप्लीकेशन एंड देर इज अ सिंगल वेब फॉर्म इन दैट फर्स्ट टू यूज डेटा टेबल वी नीड टू यूज दिस नेम स्पेस सिस्टम डॉट डेटा एंड इन द पेड लोड we are uh, we create a data table object with this constructor so there are like uh, three constructors one that doesn't contain any argument the other contains the um, uh, table name string format and another it uh, takes a table name space so we are going to keep this simple so we are not going to go into that detail so we'll just use the second constructor to take the table name okay and then we create a uh, Uh, data column variable and data row variable we are just uh, creating the variable here not uh, initializing here only because we want to use it later we can so that we can uh, with the, this simple this single variable will use for different columns at different rows okay so first let's create a column and the column will be uh, can be created using this uh, uh, data column uh, object uh, Uh, class and then it has got uh, five constructor so we gonna be using this uh, constructor that doesn't take any parameters and then we'll set use the properties to set the data we could we can either use a property to set the uh, 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 proper uh, uh, the data or we can use the data constructor so we are using the properties here and uh, we need to set the data type of the column that is very important and using this get type uh, method in type attribute uh, in type class uh, we are setting in a string format we are passing uh, so it will be int and this will be executed at a uh, run time because it is in string right so at compile time uh, it will decide uh, at run time it will decide if uh, uh, the the type of the column and if there is any error guys like instead of uh, int 32 it is int 32 1 it will throw an error we'll see it later okay and then the column name that is important so column name uh, we're going to keep it id it's going to be read only only read only property will be true because since it is an id we're going to keep it as a primary key and the primary key yeah, should really. be should be touched okay. would you like an unboxing video yes yes sure 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 and uh, we're going to keep it unique also the unique property will be true because we're going to keep it as a primary key and then we'll add this column to this uh, columns list columns uh, collection of the table see this is like uh, any other collection like a list collection in that there is a add method and then we add it to the list so it is like this if you know about the collection generic collection data whatever collection you will be you won't have any problem in understanding this is no new concept we have the table contains the columns uh, collection as well as the rows collection that we'll see it shortly so here we are going to create another column and this time we are going to use a different method we're going to be using one of the constructors we'll use a different constructor like this constructor earlier we used it didn't take any parameters this constructor uh, uh <coughs> took only the column name and this one uh, took the column name uh, as well as the data type and there are other constructor but we are going to use this third constructor only because to we want to keep it simple because name and data type they are foremost so name and data type here we are not using this get type we thought that we'll try something different we are using the type of uh, operator to set the type as string you uh, hey guys here we pass the <coughs> type name as string so it evaluated it decided the type at run time but here it decides the type at compile time only because we are passing the name of the the this uh, struct name uh, yeah the name of the type we are passing here and not in string and the read only will be false because since this uh, will be open to any manipulation of any changes we are keeping it open and unique also not because we are not keep uh, we are not going to make it as a primary key and then we are going to add it this column to the columns collection and again then we need to set a primary key property of the table we need to set 
and for that since primary key contain can contain more than one column so we are going to take the data column array okay like this data column data column array we are going to take primary key columns will be the name and then we are initializing the uh, it with since it's going to means uh, its capacity is only one so the first column we are setting as the id column and then we are going to add it to the primary key property of the table because it's the only uh, only one column is the uh, primary key and then using the for loop we are going to uh, means uh, uh, is uh, create rows and then add to the rows collection of the table see the row we are using the table dot new row table dot new row method will new row method of the table will make sure that it uh, the row will be according to the column specified uh, according to the data type of the column so row id we have, this is integer so i an item we, it will be string so like this item plus it will concatenate and it will uh, be a string and result and then we are adding it to the your rows collection and then we are assigning this table to the data source property so this will become the data source for the grid view and then we are calling the data byte to <coughs> display okay so let's just see what's the result so the the result guys is id and item as expected here so we see this was just a simple data type in next videos in next another session we'll discuss more complex such thing like like data set that will represent the uh, the database and there will be two, two or more tables and then there will be foreign key relationship other uh, constraints we are going to set up we all we don't need to uh, means uh, uh, import it from the uh, uh, from the database we can create our own database in c sharp only we don't need to use this entity framework or edu.net so this was just a demo it, we might require all these methods and uh, properties to manipulate the data table that is imported from the database so hence the knowledge is also required so guys if you liked it you can like comment and subscribe to let me know your views let me if you want some other videos you can request i'll try to follow up on your request so guys that's it for today thank you and have a nice day